Well, I thought I'd do a short video showing my uh, the final product of a of a build I started last fall. Uh, this is now um, about a year in the in, in progress. I guess you could call this my COVID project. It's a poo duck skiff designed by Joel White, slightly enlarged version of the shell back dinghy, which I have and I love very very much. So I just got her on her trailer. Just completed the hull. All that's left to do is to uh, leather the oars. Do a quick walk around here. Show you the hull. She's up on her trailer. Quite a pretty girl, actually. Let's see if I can get a long view. I'll explain a couple of things that I've done. Nice rake transom. Let's see if we can... Uh, do the long view thing here so you can take her all in. Bear in mind this is the first time I've seen her in all her glory myself. And there she is, Poo Duckskiff. Gorgeous little boat. Only three strakes so it's a fairly easy build if you're a novice. I'm not, I've built quite a few boats but if you ever wanted to get into lap strake this is of course plywood laps but it's a pretty easy one to to start with because there's only only three laps on each side that you have to worry about. So the lumber is a combination of uh, mahogany and uh, uh, some black oak, uh, or sorry, not black oak, black walnut, black oak, that would be something. Um, just happened to have it in the shop and I like to mix it up a little bit. And I deviate a bit from the plans. I put in buoyancy chambers aft and forward. Pardon the, uh, the ugly rags here. Ooh, little bug. So this is nice for stowing little items of gear. It's also nice because it uh, hopefully will ensure the boat floats. The tiller, I always make these little suspension loops under the thwarts for the tiller, like this. The rudder stows on uh, those cushions. And I should maybe show you my little mast supports here. So I'm going to put a boat cover. Eventually my wife's going to make a, a custom fitted cover which will have snaps here under the gunnels. That's how I like to do them. So it's a nice travel and storage cover. But I like them well peaked so I like to use the mass to peak them. And in my approach in order to support the mass you can see here I made a little crotch. This is actually a cut off of an old boom from another boat that just sits in the uh, in the mast socket, in the mast step socket. And uh, got little wedges with leathers that fit in the partners. And here aft in the stern, I can show you what I did here. I thought about this and I made a little crotch, but a very kind of special little crotch. Let me just take the mast off. Very lightweight mast made of spruce. And all this is, I made a little socket. I don't know if you can see that in there. Epoxy down to the bottom of this lazarette chamber. And then a little uh, plywood ring here on a basically a closet pole. And uh, this just kind of sits in here. And it's supported by the hole in the socket and the mask goes on top. It's fairly solid. You know, everything's going to be tied down for the road, so that'll be good. The uh, bronze hardware, I did get a brand new trailer for this boat because I thought she, she deserved it. And uh, yeah, there she is. Her name is Wapoos. Wapoos is the Cree word for jackrabbit and all of my small boats are named jackrabbit. Uh, the shellback which I still own is named jackrabbit and I thought I can't have two jackrabbits. The shellback would be jackrabbit number five. I can't have a jackrabbit six at the same time as I have a jackrabbit five and so this boat's going to be named Wapoos so it follows the theme but Wapoos being the Cree word and the reason I named my boats jackrabbit is I'm a cross-country skier in winter and one of my great heroes is this guy named Jackrabbit Johansson, who was a legendary jackrabbit skier in northeastern America and Canada and the U.S. And the uh, the Cree called him, nicknamed him Jackrabbit, because uh, he used to move through the bush with such alacrity, uh, like the jackrabbit does, I guess, in the in the forest. So I hope my boats will also likewise move with alacrity in their preferred medium the water. So there you go. There she is. Very, very lightweight mast. And I'll be rigging her and show how that's done. Look at that.
Isn't that a beauty? I mean, you can lift them with one hand. Now my center board, I screwed something up with my b-hole or the location of my b-hole here and also my jam cleat. It doesn't quite jam, but maybe that pennant is too slippery. If you look under the trailer, a little bit of the board sticks out just a little bit up here. Not enough to cause problems, I don't think. It's well clear of the trailer, so it's not going to catch on anything. The trailer, trailer basically is these two bunks here and everything sits nice and high. Even that roller back there is a little low. I might have to adjust it. But uh, anyway, if there's an issue, I'll, I'll take care of it. And there you go, Wapoos, Poo Duck Skiff.